Hey guys, it's Metacosis Perfect Snails, where medicine makes perfect sense. Let's continue our playlist called Labs. In previous videos, we talked about beta-2 microglobulin, acetylcholine trace, the true one, and the pseudo one. We talked about uric acid in the blood and in the urine. We talked about lactic acid and lactate dehydrogenase. Today, let's talk about a very important topic in phlebotomy, which is what type of test tube do you use to order the test? And if you're using multiple tubes, in what order should you use them? And does it matter? Of course it does. Why do you need the lavender top tube? Why the green top tube? Why the red one? Why the gold one? Etc. But before we start, what does the word phlebo mean? It means vein. And otomy means to cut, i.e. bloodletting through vein. You're drawing blood. Please watch the videos in this playlist in order. Let's talk about them. First, the clear top tube. Why is that? This is to discard the first blood. We do not need the first blood in many cases, so we throw this in the trash. Not in the trash. You should dispose of it carefully and properly. What kind of additive in this tube? None. Why add an additive if we're going to throw it away anyway? Next, the light blue top tube. What does it have? Sodium citrate. Why do we use it? coagulation studies, such as if you suspect that the patient has hemophilia or von Willebrand disease or others. Next, red top tube. What additive? There is no additive. There is no anticoagulant here? No. Which means the blood will coagulate? Yes. And when the blood clots, what's going to happen? Serum will leave that clot and go above it. And then you can take that serum, centrifugate it, and run your blood chemistry. Or comprehensive metabolic panel or basic metabolic panel. Of course, there are some tiny differences, but let's keep it simple. Coming up next, the gold top tube. What is in it? Clot activator and gel separator. Why do we use it? Same thing. Chemistry, basic metabolic panel, comprehensive metabolic panel. After that, we have the green tube, which contains heparin. Is this an anticoagulant? Yes. How does heparin work? It activates antithrombin-3, which inhibits factors 9, 10, 11, 12. Add thrombin, because it's called antithrombin, which is factor 2, and 7. So heparin indirectly inhibited factors 9, 10, 11, 12, and 2, and 7. Next, the purple or lavender top tube. What does it have? Calcium EDTA as an anticoagulant. Why do we use it? Hematological studies and hemoglobin A1c for diabetes mellitus. The gray tube contains not sodium citrate, but potassium citrate. Not sodium citrate, but sodium fluoride. Why do you use that? Not the hemoglobin A1c, but the plasma glucose. And not hematology, but toxicology. In some cases, the doctor orders many tests, which means we need to draw blood in this order. You go with the first tube, then this, then this, then this. However, there is a very important point to remember. There is a special tube used for blood culture. Let's say that there is an infection, such as sepsis. We need blood cultures. Sometimes the doctor orders three blood cultures. We will use special test tube for this. You must draw blood for blood culture before any other test. And for blood culture, you must use sterile techniques while drawing blood. Otherwise, the blood will be contaminated and we're trying to find bacteria. A specific bacteria is being searched for. But if the sample is contaminated with other bacteria, then the test is useless. You can learn more about acid-base imbalance, acidosis, alkalosis, metabolic acidosis, metabolic alkalosis, respiratory acidosis, respiratory alkalosis, the serum anion gap, the serum osmolar gap, the urine anion gap, the stool osmolar gap, and much more by downloading my acid-base imbalance course at medicosisperfectionetics.com. The most popular playlists here on my YouTube channel are the hematology ones. I have one titled hematology oncology and the other one titled bleeding and coagulation. To test your knowledge on bleeding and coagulation, you can download my 50 hematology cases at medicosisperfectionetics.com. I want you to answer them first on your own, then send me your answers and I will give you the answer key. To learn about lymphomas, I have one humongous PDF containing everything you need to know about lymphoma on my website. I have another PDF on leukemia as well. 
Check out my hematology playlist for more than 100 videos. Subscribe, hit the bell, click on the join button. You can support me here or here. Go to my website to download my courses, notes, and cases. Thank you for watching. Be safe, stay happy, study hard. This is Medicosis Perfectionalis, where medicine makes perfect sense.